What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to the next episode of the walkthrough. So, got it. Took probably about 10 attempts or so, but our exactor scripture is plus 10 now. Almost 600 spell power on that bad boy. Very, very nice. Uh, so, we are now ready to head on up. Now, real fast, to talk about Theka here, I'm not sure on this, but one of the things the devs mentioned is they were, at one point, they were talking about doing his quest line decreases the cleric's health. I don't know if that's accurate. Uh, but I did want to throw that out there. But like I said, buy anything that you want from him Hello since he's going to disappear. Friend. We are going to get May his armor be a, a little bit later. But otherwise, let's head on in and we'll get things started. So, got our. Okay, you're. This is not not. Let's you know. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. What we're going to do is we're going to rest, and then we're going to kill him. Single loot guarded by a spike head, and then up ahead is an archer. We're just, uh, you know what? We're just gonna put them up, and they're just gonna smack him, I bet. Extra soul damage time. That's more like it. That's how that's supposed to go down. Oh, kill him. Grab this loot. Up ahead, we have a archer and a dog. Dog is before the archer. Cannot out heal me. Or maybe you can. Maybe I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, she's got hands. Oh, my goodness. Well, we had to go Umbral anyway, so she was actually doing me a favor there. We're gonna go through this tunnel. There's a bunch of mages and thralls and all sorts of trash in here. Uh, just obviously be very cautious because we're, we're fighting around a bunch of pushtures. Very careful around all those pustules. After we come up, we have some basic scrubs. We can exit our umbra right here. And there's a single piece of loot down here to the right. our vestige so we'll go ahead and just hit this and now we don't need to make that little run anymore so uh rest if you want we're going to be heading up to kill a scourge sister yeah scourge sister and an archer with another dog i'm gonna lure the dog out first blow that up So I think I figured out what's happening with Holy. Holy seems to do bonus damage against stuff that is blocking. And so what's actually happening, you can see there's another archer over there. I'll pull them out. Uh, since the, the face crown on that thing is considered like a block, it's absolutely cooking it. So we're going to go ahead and pull the Scorch Sister. Did you come just a little closer here? Alright, too close. There you go. Alright. Her dead. I remember there being like one goodie down here. Yep. Grab the seething vigor skull. I'm gonna try to range. 
Let's go behind the boxes. We have another spike head up ahead. I'm getting blocked by that. Oh man. Can't wait to not use the spell ever again. Yeah, that floaty briar thing sucks. Anyway, kill this dude, and then we are going to go left. Uh, upcoming room has two mages, thralls, and a bell knight. So afterwards, we're going to go uncle. So a bunch of stuff here. What I would suggest doing is pop off the mages first. Ah, oh, that spell cannot hit for shit. I bled my mana dry. Kill the bellman, kill the mage. Now we'll just go down here and we'll kill off everything. Up the trash. Got this chest. Oh, actually, let me, let me go to my notes before I. Overextend myself here. Did we grab the other chest back there? I think we did with the weighted arrows. Let me check. I think I, I may have walked right past it. Uh, my brain is out of it today. I mean, the, yeah, I did. Okay. So, uh, so two mages, thralls, bell knight. Afterwards, we want to go umbral for a fairy and grab the stigma, then exit and get the chest in the corner. Okay. And as I willingly relinquish. This token of my past life, so too do I wish to pass the power. I have been reborn in the life of our generation, and proven myself worthy of being counted amongst the ranks of the blessed servants of Hallowed and the So we got that. An excellent get chest and storm. Go up the stairs and plant a seed near the NPC. Then we're gonna come back and do some umbro stuff. Well, I guess we could. No, let's let's just do it. We'll just go plant the seed first. That way, if anything happens, we have the seed. We're safe. Some more stuff below. Where's the spot at? It's like right by him. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, there it is. And now I finally get a new radiant spell. So now that he has this jumped location, the we can talk to him. He is talking Let about the banner that we want. And uh, the we picked up part of it already. The other part we're going to get here at the Abbey. Though, so so give him the damage standard. Uh, for those that missed that, back at the Abbey, after we, or not at the Abbey, back at the Manse, after we fought the face, there was an elevator that we went down to grab that. In and now, judgment. we are going to get Aureus's Judgment and Radiant Orb. I might as well pick this up just so I have it. Um, increase holy damage. It's probably really good for me. Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. wonder how much holy damage. 20%? If it's a 20%, that would be super good. I would like that very much. Over here, let's go ahead and pop Umbral. I'm gonna do a quick damage test with that in just a little bit. I'm gonna go. This puzzle threw me for a loop the first time I did it. So go up. And grab that. Pull it out. Go back 
down. Grab it, pull it. And then behind you, grab it and pull it. Take down. So that's 382. If I were to put on the holy ring. Oh, they're all popping. I'm seeing 461 across the board. Uh, where's that ring I got? 461. 493. Mm. So, let's see. That is a 7% increase. That's kind of ass. I mean, 7% more damage is it's probably better than the extra vigor, which I don't really need at that point. Anyway, that's going to get us the Putrid Child set. I'm going to roll through here and we'll go back to that seedling. I was right on that. Maybe I was already like at my max damage. I mean, I don't know. I was getting extra, extra vigor. Might as well just keep it on. Extra damage is extra damage, you know? Especially because everything I'm doing is holy. It's probably worthwhile. The bigger thing is we got new spells. So, we are going to absolutely put on you. And then I'm not sure about you. Deals damage while healing allies. I'll need to try this out and see what it does. Uh, let's see. Go up the stairs, plant the seed, run back downstairs, arm bone in the balcony, putrid shot set exit, talk to the NPC, buy any dope spells he has. Run past him for an archer and a loot on your left. There's also a ambush with another spiky head. Hey, where you, come, where'd you go? Come over this way, bro, come on. I'm not gonna walk into that hallway and fight you. Oh no, the archer wants to... Oh, if the archer is going to come. Worked out. And someone is just parading themselves up there. Okay, um, let me scroll these real fast. Parcher and loot on your left, spike head behind. Come back the other way and go up the stairs for a Huntress and another Scourge Sister. Okay, so we're going this way now. I want to see if this is like an orb that I throw. I don't know if do damage. Interesting. So it's like a big stationary AoE. It's gonna hurt, and while I'm in it, it's gonna peel, presumably. Let's let's try it out on a real target and see what it does. Remember there being any loot here, which always threw me off. It just seems very especially because we have this like spot where we can drop down, but there's nothing over here. So I'll show you this one. This is one of my new spells. Aureus is lightning. Get clapped. Set and forget, baby. Lightning storm. Yeah, that's a really fun one. I've been I've been wanting that for a while. Uh, so we're gonna go over here, get this shortcut. Kill him. This is actually a good chance to, to test out that, that new spell, this one. It's like an 87 per second. If I could if I could shoot it so that it ends right at the path. Do, 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 do. That's okay. That's okay. There's there's other spells that I can get access to that'll be much better than that though. Thank 
because that's similar, but I deal 264 per second. So yeah, not not too hot on Radiant Orb. I mean, I guess it'd be good to like throw it into the mix while people are fighting. Um, probably a boss spell we're going to get soon that will replace that slot. Anyway, uh, go this way. Grab this goodie, and then we're going to go Umbral. Watch the drop here. You don't want to go falling down. Ugh, get off of me, man. I hate when I bounce off walls. It drives me crazy. Yeah, over there. Grab this guy, pull him out. Bridled focus. And now we need to run the same thing again, but roll down. I don't know if I ever looked into what unbridled focus was. So Vestige Moth right here. And we can be an Umbral for this next section. So run on up. And we're going to be getting attacked by a, another Abbey thing. So we're going to be chilling right behind this barrier anytime it's, it's targeting us. Let's see if I can hit this. that you can not get hit while I get hit. Oh, god damn. Smite on her. It's obnoxious. Anyway, I'm gonna run. Just avoiding her laser for now. up this so we pulled it earlier I'll be safe here for a second it's for this guy grab him and then we're gonna yank him again in a second just to fully get rid of him and if we don't I'm gonna pop off just in case he should be gone, but you never know. Yeah, he's gone. Excellent. Okay. Now, we want to take out the Abyss, so we're going to use our brand new Ultra Mega Get Fucked Idiot spell. Which isn't hitting her. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, hit her. Pop her up. Mess her up. One more. Beautiful. Fortunately, that thing doesn't respawn. So... Uh, now, if you want, we can exit Umbral and then re-enter to reset the timer, but we're going to go over here to get another St. Luke Contestants. I think we can go quick enough to, to pull it off, so we're just going to keep cruising along here. And it's Poison Javelin, uh, something right around here, I believe. Or maybe that was loot from killing stuff. see a loot there right now. It's maybe a humble warp warp out thing type situation, so we're going to go ahead and put one of those on now. Oh no, it's this, this one that has the loot. Eh, we'll get up ahead here. 
All right, now there's a face here, so we are gonna pop this. Grab it. Kind of a tight fight to fight with these guys in there. Right? make it back. That's great. If it looks like it's going to be a reaper type situation, which I didn't even check to see. I didn't even check to get this loot. You dropped loot, you did. This is looking a little rough. We're just going to go ahead and pop this. Half health, no heals, no healing. Red Reaper showing up. Eh, it's a vestige moth time. Which works out. It, it does work out quite nicely because we, we got rid of the uh, Abyss, which is what we wanted. So uh, make your way back. In my notes, I wrote that there was a skull I saw on the way back, but it's right where we checked for that loot. I didn't see anything, so it may have just been a, a drop for me killing some enemies. So we're just going to go ahead and kill these two. Now we don't need to worry about uh, Little Miss Laser following, firing at us constantly. That's the first exit. Ooh, the Sin Piercer. Very nice. Uh, Consecrate. I could put that on. Consecrate's not bad. It doesn't deal a ton of damage, but it's, uh, it's alright. How much damage am I getting here? 99 per second? Does it also heal? Does not heal. It's a little disappointing. It's 90, 99 per second? Alright, now let's try that with the air to the Radiant Orb. Grab the Toll. Let's do an 87. It's also healing. It doesn't last nearly as long either. Yeah, we'll probably take a, a boss thing for our, our final one. So it's nothing that I'm really like, oh yeah, that's the spell I need. That's the that's the good stuff. So this is the exit we were trying to get back to. But unfortunately, this did not work out. Very rude. Since you're being so rude, you can now die to lightning while you were unable to touch me. Uh, so let's see. Continue up for Dog and Archer up and right. Get Delirium in the corner and then continue down the long hallway for a Dog and the Multi-Shot Crossbow. Uh, nothing down here. No I don't there should have been something back there. It looks like there should have, you know? Smite Salts. Go. Oh, if, you, if you didn't want to farm to upgrade your weapon, you're all set now. Head. This is actually pretty interesting. It shoots out uh, three arrows in a, a fanning pattern. 
the, the cost of one ammo. So it's almost like a blank range type weapon, but it, it works pretty well. So we have a boss coming up right when we go through that door. Uh, but before that, we're going to plant a new seed. We're going to knock out a little area that's over here. And then after we knock out this area, we'll, we'll wrap things up. We'll tackle that boss in the next episode. So enter Umbral. Straight up. Knock that clown out of the sky. We want to pull this. Up across. And the same thing as before. What we're going to do a pull from the right and a pull from the left. Mage should be too far to hit me right now. Anyway, uh, go down this way. And I would suggest popping some of this stuff before you try and cross. Because that way, if there is something you need to fight, you're not getting blown up by it. By swinging. Like that. Uh, now, if you didn't... If you, if you rested... Right when you get to here... That archer, the first archer we killed will be right here. I would highly suggest you kill that archer uh, if it has respawned. Otherwise, that is just going to be giving you all sorts of trouble. No. And there we go, the Umbral Eye of Agatha. And some goodies. So after that, you can just go ahead, run your way back. Run, 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 run. This doesn't look like you can jump it, but I promise you, you can. And we are back at our vestige seed. So that eye is the, the one I was mentioning earlier. Uh, when soul flaying an enemy, all nearby enemies are pulled towards them. So you can combo that. Uh, either that or soul flay affects an area and the idea is like you basically get like uh, just soul flaying everybody but it sounds really good uh, i think it's a little too situational sadly but regardless test it out see if you like it i think it's a, an interesting combo but we're gonna wrap things up here for now so uh to give some perspective in the next episode we're gonna be fighting the rapturous huntus uh, after that, we'll make our way to the Empyrean, and then upon reaching the Empyrean, we make our way to the final area of the game. So, we are uh, home stretch. Stay tuned, and I'll catch y'all soon with more.